you, you don't have unlimited time in the body that you're in right now. It's it's a it's got a an expiry date, and I, I feel like you'd be missing out if you spent your whole life trying to escape yourself into something that you thought would be better, like some transcendent, enlightened, crazy experience. And, you know, like it can be triggering to hear all of that if you're on a spiritual journey and you think that what you're doing is really important. And I, I don't discredit, like, everything's valid. If you want to go and live in a monastery for 12 years, sweep floors and harvest fruit and meditate most of your life, like, that's valid too. Like, I'm talking about the people that are really romanticizing spirituality and, like, all of these, like, metaphysical concepts, like, romanticizing them daydreaming about them feeling like they wish that they could live in this alternate universe where they are like an enlightened master or something like all of this like deeply detached thinking about life and then like so you you you're really fascinated with the metaphysical spiritual transcendent stuff but you're living a lifestyle that's like you know, if it's on a spectrum, you're looking at like the, the enlightened end of the spectrum, but you're living in the lowest possible vibration of experience, you know, like taking all the drugs, going to all the parties, ignoring all your problems, like not dealing with where you are. You got to bring that closer together because like, if, like I said, two conflicting ideas and beliefs cannot exist in you, like and as long as you're doing that to yourself, like, it's really an abusive relationship with yourself. Like, you're going to drive yourself insane. That's why so many of these, like, pseudo-spiritual people are, like, like they get judged because they're so weird. And the reason why they're so weird is because they're trying to hold so many contradictory beliefs and, like, ideas and concepts and philosophies about reality at the same time that manifests as this gobbledygook. And you're just like, who the hell is that person? And the person that's experiencing it is like, who the hell am I? I don't know, maybe I need another practice or I need another guru or I need another ayahuasca ceremony in the Amazon jungle. Like, And it just adds more layers of delusion and separation between them and who they really are. Again, it's totally valid. It's still a journey. And it's still like, like there's nothing wrong with it. Like, If you want to do all that stuff, be my guest. But if you've been watching my content and you've been coming from that world and for whatever reason ending up watching my stuff, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a background about like my perspective when it comes to all of that stuff. Keep it simple, back to basics. Don't get lost because that's essentially all that you're going to do if you try to explore realms that you don't understand. And especially if you haven't mastered this realm, like that's the key, like do this stuff first. Be really good at being in the body that you're in and keeping it really good. <laughs> like, it's so simple. But it's so, it's so simple that people get bored, right? That's probably one of the biggest drivers that sends people off on these crazy journeys. And that's another criticism that a lot of people have towards those like pseudo-spiritual hippies that travel the world and do all the stuff. Like, usually to do that, you need quite a significant amount of financing. And, um, yeah, so it ha there's another whole problem there because then a lot of the people who don't have the resources to go and do all that stuff, they're actually envying that lifestyle, thinking like, oh, I wish I could be like such and such. Trust me, you're better off where you are, dealing with your human stuff, moving on your journey, one foot in front of the other. You can believe me, you cannot believe me. You can leave your comments in down below saying, like, you're totally wrong about this or thank you for setting me on the straight and narrow. I don't know what you're thinking and feeling, but it usually is quite an interesting discussion down there when enough people show up to watch a video. If you enjoyed this in any way, click the like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. And I feel like you could pass this on to other people you know who may benefit. If you're watching this, chances are you've got other people in your life who are sort of in between like the crazy transcendent spiritual enlightenment escapism and the reality like I actually want to change my life and deal with what's in front of me first